Hello and welcome back to the F1 predictions for the Singapore Grand Prix. I'm Ajax, I am your host, usually co-host, because it's usually Shogun that is hosting, but he is currently on holiday and we're wishing Sorgun the best of holidays. So I'm back, this is the third one of just me, and uh, yeah, we are looking at the Singapore Grand Prix, and there's been a lot of excitement this week with uh, different news and so on. So we're going to actually start there. And we start with Daniel Ricciardo because he looks like he might, very well might, lose his seat at RB Racing, which um, is a shock. It is a shock that they've suddenly decided to go, yeah, you know what, this might be Daniel's last race. Um, Especially someone so, like, well-loved in the community, someone so... Uh, like respected and yeah loved by the fans but they are looking to bring in Liam Lawson early I guess get him some race time before the start of the season obviously he did so well last year in the two races he had and uh yeah it looks like Liam Lawson's being brought in and that's really unfortunate because uh you know Daniel's amazing but it's not confirmed yet it's just you know rumors thus far that's the biggest news I would say uh there has been a bunch of other news um in F1, we start with the fact Red Bull were meant to be bringing a custom livery this weekend made by fans, but because of uh, concerns over weight, they're not, and uh, that's a bit of a shock considering you know just how dominant they were early season. But now they're really struggling, they are literally have to be concerned about weight and what that's going to do to their car. So, yeah, uh, they are not going to be bringing that in. I think it shows what a state Red Bull is in at the moment. And I really think this weekend might be uh, one of their worst. So that's one to be keep note of. Uh, there's a few other things, mainly stuff to do with the FIA. Uh, Hamilton uh, criticised the FIA boss for using, basically saying that rap was, uh, you know, all sweary people and, and you know, basically black people were all sweary people. Um that's that's a, like a bridged version, just so and like totally non legally standing. We're fine there. Um, but the other thing was, uh, and so you know, read up on that. You know, educate yourselves. Um, and then the other thing was Norris. Uh, well, McLaren's uh, rear wing was deemed not illegal. So. Uh, as the, all the rivals were like, oh, it looks dodgy. No, it isn't. It's not dodgy. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much the news for this week. And then we can go in to the race weekend. And uh, we got some pretty incredible picks by Sorgan this weekend. I'm just going to put it out there. It's like he can read the future. I mean, he had a great weekend last weekend. I'm sure this weekend is going to be the exact same. As we start off with his prediction. Oh, oh wait. Well, that's that's a spoiler for you. But we're going to start off with Carlos Sainz. He's expecting to get fifth place. And we talked about this before. Carlos Sainz in fifth place is a great shout. Always one to do. Um, but I'm going to go a bit more out there. Well, not a, not a bit more out there, you know. I'm going to go for Russell back in that uh, that place. Now, the, McLaren, the Mercedes last year were really, really quick in the race. Um, right at the end, they made changes. Uh, but of course, Science was the winner, and Russell crashed out at the very last lap. So uh, that you know, there's some symmetry there. But whilst uh, I'm not putting Science there, I'm gonna you know, I'm still gonna put him in the top uh, top five, and I'm gonna put him in P4. Meanwhile, Sawgun's P4 is going to be George Russell. So we're basically swapping positions here. He's gone Russell. He's gone. Uh, Russell in fourth and Science in fifth. And I've gone Science in fourth and Russell in fifth. Um, interesting symmetry. But we are going to get a lot more different from here on out. Then we have a rogue shout from me. Uh, I'm going to put, well, not rogue, but uh, I'm going to put Hamilton in P3. Uh, meanwhile, and in, in what is actually a rogue shout, I will say, there's a P, uh, there's a P3. For Lando Norris, which I think I think is an interesting one. I think you know, considering how quick the McLaren's been recently, I, I would I would consider that a shock. Um, 
especially where I'm going to put si uh, put, put Norris. Um, now, this is where we're both going to get risky. Whilst uh, Sorgan's put Leclerc in the top uh, two, which means, you know, it should be pretty obvious. I, I'm, I'm not going to put Leclerc there. I'm going to put Piastri, just because he's been really, really consistent recently, and I just don't feel like he's going to have a struggle race in this one. Uh, I feel like I have to go out there and put him put him P2. He's done well recently and uh, was P2 last race, of course. And then my final pick is, of course, Norris in P1, which means Leclerc misses out, who, of course, qualified first last race. But in a bigger shock, Piastri... Well, equal shock. Piastri misses out on Sorgan's list, and Hamilton is in P1. So very interesting qualifi qualification for us there a lot, lot of differences i've gone sort of mercedes to be a bit better but sorgan's really got out there and put mercedes on top and i'm saying leclerc's missing out which would be a big shock considering how quick he's been in qualifying recently but you know that's just my opinion then we move on to the race now uh he's not stuck to his guns here he has put piastri in p5 he does think they will manage to get P5. Maybe he thinks he'll start from the back and drive all the way up to the top. Um, meanwhile, I think that, uh, in my opinion, it's going to be... Oh, this is where it gets tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky for me. I'm going to put Leclerc in P5. Yeah, I'm going to keep Leclerc in P5. Um... I'm going to see these are just got off the top of my head. Sites is in P4 for Sorgan, and I am also going to keep him in P4 on my list. Then we have the driver duo of Norris for Sorgan. Uh, that is not going to stay the same for me. I'm going to put. I'm going to keep Hamilton there. I do think at their quickest, the. The McLaren should just be too quick, which is why Piastri is in my P P2 spot. But it's uh, it's not the McLarens for Sorgan. It is uh, Hamilton, and that should make it obvious who's P1 because Sorgan loves this guy, Charles Leclerc. Now, I think that's a, a worthy shout. The Ferraris were quick last year. I am just going to basically, I'm predicting safe that the McLarens are now the quickest this season. Um just based on how Norris came up the field last race. Granted, Piastri didn't really get away from Leclerc. I do think he would maybe be able to without the DRS zone constantly going. Um, so, yeah, I'm just I'm putting it out there. We're both going to, for faster set, we're both going to put Norris. Um, because, you know, he's been the quickest lap for, like, the last three races. I'm not going out there and choosing someone else. Um... <laughs> But then we get to least impressive team and least impressive driver. Now, uh, Sorgan's gone for the Haas. We obviously see Kevin Magnussen return, and he said that he's very excited to cause some carnage, basically something along those lines. Um, I think we are a lot more swearing. Uh, whereas I'm actually going to put the Red Bull. Now, I know this is risky given how the Red Bull has been recently. It's been bad. But this is their worst race, and I'm expecting them maybe behind even the Aston this weekend i can't believe i'm saying that and i think that would be worthy right that would be worthy uh especially for max Verstappen, who i am going to put as my least impressive driver i think he's going to be real screwed um come the end of this race meanwhile uh sorgan's put straw as his least impressive driver i'll be honest at this point straw has to be awful to be in last to, to to be least impressive uh, so that's going to be an interesting pick um, and yeah, I think uh, Verstappen's again going to finish behind Perez. Whereas uh, for the most impressive team, Sorgan has sort of split chickens here. They've gone with uh, the Ferrari's most impressive team. Now I have no idea. I no idea uh, what I'm going to go for. I really don't know. Maybe I maybe I split it the other way. Maybe I do a cheeky split the other way and go Mercedes. Uh, and then uh, that should reveal Sorgan is going uh, Hamilton as the most impressive driver. Again, very split. 
And then I don't really want to put... I don't think it's going to be the Williams, even though they've been very quick recently. I'm going to put Daniel Ricciardo. One last ride for Daniel Ricciardo. I kind of want to put Magnussen, but I won't. And uh, <laughs> extra bold prediction for Sorgan is an amazing one. Magnussen <laughs> to get penalty per points, which is, of course, one I picked so, so often. Uh, for some reason, it's not turning up yellow. Uh, Magnussen penalised during the weekend. Um, which is, you know, fair. It's a fair one. I've, evidently, I'm not being able to put this properly. So we'll fix it come next week. And uh, my one is going to be similar. I'm going for uh, similar, but maybe a bit funnier. Um, let me just make sure it's on this. I'm going for Russell. That's not how you spell Russell. Uh, that's also not how you spell. Oh, well, that's fine. Crashes this weekend. I think he's going to crash this weekend. It'll be very funny given last year. But I don't mean during the race. I mean the whole weekend. And same as Sorgan. And that is our predictions for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It's a bit quicker than usual. But still, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, please subscribe down below. And as always, peace.